All right, let's look at one more Fletcher's trolley question, but this time we're gonna throw some friction. So we have a Fletcher's trolley set up like this. We have a four and a half kilogram mass sitting on the table. We have a six kilogram mass that's hanging over the pulley. And we're told that this 4.5 kilogram block experiences a force of friction with a magnitude of 15 newtons. So we wanna look at what's actually going on here. Now, the previous question we had done using a lot of algebra, then I made a second video just showing how you could do that looking at the system as a whole. And the system as a whole, it makes things a lot easier. So I wanna still do that. But before we do that, I wanna draw my free body diagrams. I'm gonna draw it directly on the picture this time. And then I will show you how we're gonna adjust that. So my first block here, I'm gonna call this once again, 4.5 kilogram block it's going to be block one and then the six kilogram block we'll call that block two so this first block here it's still going to have a normal force it's still going to have a force due to gravity now we're also going to have this force of tension that's going to pull along the string here and we're also told now that we have a force of friction. So this is gonna experience a force of friction. This is gonna kind of slow down the motion here. Now, the second block, it's just gonna have that force of gravity going down. And we're gonna have this force of tension acting up to try and slow this down. This thing's accelerating downwards, so we want the net force to be down here, which means FG2 has got to be bigger than FT. With this block, we want it moving to the right, so we want the force of tension to be slightly greater than FF. If we look at this diagram, it's, it's complicated, but let's straighten out the system. Let's take this mass, we're going to just kind of move it up here, and we're going to look at the system as a whole again. So if we do that, that should hopefully make things a little bit easier if we look at the system as a whole. So we're going to straighten out the system. We're going to straighten out the apparatus. So again, I'm going to have this 4.5 kilogram block. We're going to put it here. And then we're going to have this string. We're going to have the pulley. We're going to have this string again. So this time I'm going to have my 6 kilogram block here. Now we're going to call the direction of motion positive. The six kilogram block is going to dictate the direction of motion. If this is going down, this whole system is going to get pulled to the right. So I want to call this right direction to be positive. Once again, we can label all of our forces directly on this diagram. So I have this FG2 here, and then I had this force of tension. And then I also, on this first block here, I have this force of tension once again. I have this force of friction that's trying to slow this thing down. And then of course we have our two forces in the vertical direction here. So I have this normal force one, and I have this FG one. Now, again, what we're interested in is we're looking at the normal force or sorry, we're looking at the net force in the direction of motion. The vertical forces do not contribute to the motion. So vertical forces on block one do not contribute to motion. So we actually do not care about them at all. So we're going to kind of ignore them. They will deal with the friction aspect, but that's a, that has to deal with coefficients of friction. We'll get to that bit later. So those vertical forces on block one are not going to actually affect the motion. So when we want to look at the net force acting on this system. So in this system, we have this force of gravity two in the direction of motion. We have these two forces of tension, but once again, the forces of tension are going to cancel each other out. We don't have to consider them, ignore them. And then I have this force of friction that's going to oppose this motion. In terms of the mass of the system, it's going to be the total mass. So I got this M1 plus M2. 
So the last thing I want to do is I know the net force is just, or sorry, the acceleration is the net force over m. So I got this force of gravity 2 plus this force of friction divided by the total mass. So the only thing that we actually have to be careful with in this question is first of all, we want that mass to there. That is what's hanging over the edge and that's what's gonna drive this system. And then we got this positive 9.81 meters per second squared since it's going in the direction of positive convention. And then to that, we're gonna add the force of friction, but the force of friction is opposing our motion. It's going against our positive convention we've set. So that has to go in as a negative. 15 newtons. And then again, we're going to divide this by the total mass of the system. So we still always have to be mindful of directions when we're doing these problems. That's the big key here. Now, if we do that, I'm going to get that the acceleration is about 4.2 meters per second squared. So what this is trying to tell us is that the block on the surface, it's going to move to the right at 4.2 meters per second squared. Simultaneously, the block, hanging block is going to move downwards at 4.2 meters per second squared. So the only thing we have to watch out for with friction involved is in that net force term because this is going to drive the system, this force of gravity on the block hanging, but it's going to be slowed down by the force of friction acting on the first block. It's going to slow its motion down just a little bit. So it's going to be it's going to be taken off here. We have that negative sign there. Which way you want to do the Fletcher's trolley? If you want to do it the long algebraic way, that's fine. If you want to kind of do it in this simplified manner, go for it. I recommend the simplified manner. It cuts out a lot of the work, and the less algebra we can do, the less mistakes that are going to be made. And we ask for magnitude, so we don't actually need a direction on this. So we are good.